once again to the spider's web. And what have you got in front of you? Well, basically what we have are the undercoated figures from the uh, Dungeon Command box set, Heart of Cormia. Why are they undercoated? Well, I've decided I'm going to repaint them because, as I said in a previous video, I'm not what you'd call 100% happy with the um, quality of the painting, so I thought I might as well. It'll tie in much better with my uh, other Dungeon & Dragon board games, so I can use these in the... Okay, so, what, I'm, what am I planning on doing? Well, as you can see from my Dungeons and well, my Castle Ravenloft figure, we have a double up. I've got these out so I can look at them and make sure that I don't do them the same colour. That's for a start. So we've got that one, which are both uh, a dwarf cleric. However, this one is named. It's on a blue base, well, it's on a, a it's bit, it was originally blue, and this is on a black one, but when I finished with that, it, the base is going to look like this, so I need to do it a different colour. So, I've got these out to compare the difference. But it's not just those two. We also have these two. You should see. They're both human rangers. But the one from Castle Ravenloft is named. That's Alyssa. The dwarf was Thorgrim. So again, I don't want to use the same colour or even similar colours, so I shall be using something completely different. I may even do the base difference on these ones, I don't know yet, it all depends how I feel. So they're the double ups, well they're the, not double ups, but they're the same figures we have in uh, Castle Ravenloft. But if we look a little bit further, in Wrath of a Shardalon, we have the Half Orc Thug. I think he is Half Orc Rogue. And, oops, that's a bit of my. Hang on a second. Sticky tat that I used for putting them on the board while I sprayed them. So this one's a Half Orc Thug and this one's a half orc rogue so again only slightly difference with the names but they're still half orc, they're still in the same model <coughs> so I'll just have to do some minor differences to make sure that they can be uh, seen and I'm going to tell them apart during gameplay because these ones can actually be used as allies in along with the adventure game systems we have the um, the cards that we got I don't think I've got them here I don't think I've got them handy I haven't Excuse, pardon me while I just uh, pause the video and I'll come back once I've found the ally cards hello welcome back I found them and I'm just digging them out of me Little baggy. There we have the, the monster cards. And these are the allies. Ally cards. This is the ally rule card. Which you don't play. What you do is you just keep that in front of you and you can you know what you're doing. Um, if you use the a familiar voice, which is this event card. Uh, you need to prepare an ally deck by shuffling together all available ally cards. Allies you control 
activate first during step three of your villain phase. Allies count as heroes for the purpose of encounter cards, monster tactics, and hero powers. Okay, so here we go. So first of all, we have a war wizard, which is this character. This is the one I really had objection to with the uh, original artwork of it. And then you've got the Human Ranger, which you've seen. Already got one with uh, Castle Ravenloft. Then you get the one you've just seen, the Allied, or the Half Orc Thug. You also get the Halfling Sneak as an ally. You do get an Elf Archer. which is this fella you get a Dwarven Defender which is the Dwarf with the shield as you can see that properly You get the Dwarven Cleric, couldn't find him then, is there? <laughs> you, saw, you saw him earlier, we have the uh, same one in uh, oh, Castle Ravenloft, and we have the Dragon Knight, so as you can see, you probably won't be able to see these properly as yet, while well, so, well, they're all white, but once I bang a wash on, you'll be able to see them in a bit more detail. So, you can get one of these, I don't think you'll be able to get them both on the, on the table at the same time. We have, to, uh, we have uh, a Dwarven Defender and uh, an Elf Archer, El Elf, Orca. Elf Archer um, Spur. We have the, what is it called? The Earth Guardian. That may be a monster. Some of the monster deck, and we have the copper dragon, which again I would assume is going to be a monster. Um, the other cards are here. Um, Earth Guardian, yeah, the first one I picks up is a monster. Yeah, monster, monster. So the Earth Guardian and the copper dragon are both monsters. See. So. This is what we're going to be doing. <laughs> we're going to be painting. Okay, so I'll clear these off the table. I'll put the ally cards together. I'll put all the cards back into its uh, little bag. And make sure you it. Okay, so what should I do first? Um. Well, I think what might be an idea is if I get this one, the Half Orc Thug, out of the way first, mainly because this one is from Castle Ray, this one is from Wrath of a Shardalon, and I've got both my Wrath of a Shardalon and my Castle Ravenloft figures out. I don't want to get them mixed up. So if I do this, and get this figure out of the way. Um, sorry for the camera wobbling, I'm just moving a few things. So, if I do this first, um, again, I still think if you've ever seen Jeff Dunham, any of his DVDs, looking at that face there. And the expression. Is anybody else thinking Walter? <laughs> oh dear. Right. So, we shall make a start. So, I have my 
high-tech palette. I have my water, I have my brushes here. Oh dear. One, two, found it. <laughs> okay, so that's that done. Um, I'm looking now for Agrax Earthshade. What colour have I done? I'm sure I'll give them blue trousers, black boots, like a silvery coloured armour with um, tin bits for the main plates. So we shall have to do a slight difference with that. But first, before we do anything else, it shake the paint. Open it up and we'll give him a wash of Agrax Earthshade. Just so I can see where all the details lie. And I've just noticed with this fella is the uh, under course not done too well on his front. <coughs> Never mind. <coughs> it'll all come out. Uh, as I said, it'll all come out right in wash. We'll use the wash, and I'm hoping it's coming going to come out right. <laughs> thinking we're doing slightly brighter colours on his armour so I may use like a silvery colour rather than just highlighting silver I think I may use a silver colour for his armour but I always like to put um, tin bits or what its equivalent is now as a base for any metallic colour I put on so it will still have the same look to it um, I may actually do something completely different instead of using go with the silver but use a different colour for the I've just realised I've not got my reading glasses on so I'm finding, it, I'm finding it a bit tricky trying to focus on what I'm doing here. So I'm hoping the camera's not having that, that trouble. But there's the wash done. <coughs> and I think while he's here, I'll get a slightly bigger brush. No, I won't, I'll just use this one. Right. I'll give him a wash as well. So I'm not quite sure of the origins of these characters. Um, I'm not a um, expert with D and D. My D&D gaming is limited only to one game so far of Dungeon Command where I played the Lolth or the Dark Elder not Dark Elder, Dark Elves um, from the Sting of Lolth uh, faction box against the uh, these hero figures from the Heart of Cormia and I got absolutely trounced so I say it's not what you call a very auspicious start 
what I've played, Wrath of a Shadow on and Castle Raven off a good few times. I've played um, Legend of Drist about three or four I think now. I've not played it all that often. Um well, Castle Raven Loft and Legend of uh, sorry, Wrath of a Shadow on. I'll get these right eventually. Um, I've played quite often. It still doesn't stop me getting things wrong though, as you noticed on my videos that I did of the gameplay sessions. Where I made a few really bad mistakes on those. Some I noticed, others I didn't. But it's all part of the fun. You know, I'm showing you how to play the game, I'm not showing you how to play it properly. <laughs> I'm just giving you the idea to get, so it's like try and give you a um, an idea of whether the, or not the game is going to be to your taste. I'm not what you call an expert gamer, I'm not a very good gamer, I'm just a somebody who just enjoys just having a bit of a laugh with uh, a few friends and <clears throat> I very real I very rarely win at any games I play if it's competitive. But I mean isn't everything as long as I'm enjoying myself while I'm playing that's all I'm bothered about. If I didn't enjoy it I wouldn't do it. Okay, so I think that's that done. I'm going to pause my camera now. I'm going to get, change my glasses and then we can start, hopefully, on some of the, um, the main parts of the model. Okay, so you can see them a bit better now anyway, where things are going to be. Um, how the paint's going to go. And where the paint's going to go more importantly. Um, obviously I'm going to change the I'm going to, going to change the hair colour to brown rather than black. That's on the original one. So let's see what I can come up with when I return. See you shortly. <laughs> 